Oyo Rooms, known as Oyo, is an Indian hotel chain founded by Ritesh Agarwal in 2013. Since then, it has undergone rapid expansion and is now the world's third largest and fastest growing hospitality chain of leased and franchised hotels, homes and living spaces. Starting with just one hotel in 2013, in Gurdwan, a satellite city of Delhi, Oyo now has a valuation of $10 billion. In July 2019, Oyo announced that it had become the third largest hotel chain in the world based on the number of rooms. Oyo's business model consists of renovating and rebranding budget hotels, applying a set of standards to drive occupancy while using its online booking platform and mobile app to fill the rooms. In 2017, it was announced that SoftBank had invested $250 million. Recently, it announced a new $1.5 billion financing round, Series F, with Agarwal to invest $700 million. This follows a $1 billion funding round in September 2018. As well as this, on April Fool's Day 2019, believe it or not, Airbnb announced that they had invested $150 to $200 million into Oyo. In July 2019, it was announced that Agarwal will invest $2 billion to triple his stake in the SoftBank-backed Indian lodging startup he established in his teens. Agarwal will buy shares from existing investors Lightspeed Venture Partners and Sequoia India, which will remain backers of the startup, the company said in a statement. The deal values Oyo at about $10 billion and raises Agarwal's slice of the company to 30% from 10%. The entrepreneur wants support from banks and other financial partners for his deal, Oyo said. He will carry out the transaction, which requires shareholder and regulatory approval through an entity called RA Hospitality Holdings in the Cayman Islands, Oyo said. While some startup founders and investors have cheered the move, it also raised some questions. What Agarwal seems to be doing is putting his existing shares as collateral to buy more shares. He is then putting those new shares to buy even more shares. As an industry source told TechCrunch, it's like getting a new credit card to pay for an older one. As well as this, Oyo is also being on the receiving end of customer grievances about poor and faulty services. In addition to this, it was recently announced that an Indian regulator had ordered an investigation into allegations that Make My Trip Limited, which is a hotel booking service, gives special treatment to Oyo on its platform, stifling competition in the industry. The Competition Commission of India, the CCI, said in an order dated the 28th of October 2019 that there is a prima facie case for investigation against Make My Trip and Oyo for alleged violations of rules barring uncompetitive agreements between parties. This follows a complaint from the Federation of Hotel and Restaurant Associations of India, which is an industry body. Both Oyo and Make My Trip allow guests to book hotels through their mobile apps while charging hotels a fee on room revenue. But Oyo also franchises its brand and offers standardized amenities at hotels on its network. It has been alleged that agreements between Oyo and Make My Trip were restricting market access to Indian hotel chains such as Fab Hotels and Trebo, according to the CCI's order. Oyo said in a statement it was reviewing the order and would cooperate with the CCI's investigation. There have also been question marks about the path to profitability for Oyo. In a recent interview, Agarwal tried to differentiate Oyo from other fast-growing private companies that have yet to turn profitable and have received some strong criticism from investors. Three years in a row, we have cut our losses in half every year and our revenue continues to increase, Agarwal told CNBC. We are comfortable we are on the right path, Agarwal said in regards to Oyo's financial position. When asked about the company's path to profitability, Agarwal said it's only a matter of time before we get there. I guess only time will tell. For more compounded valuable content, like and subscribe.